Hey Collective, let's get some messages for the 20th. This is June 2022. And this is Collective Consciousness Energy. It's a timeless reading. 24 hours, usually within the date, um, the time frame of you seeing it. And it's timeless and it's general. But it's collective energy, the best energy. So let's go. What's, what's going on today, collective? Please find clear, concise messages on a three. All right, what's the situation today? Three cards or less, hopefully. <laughs> what is going on? What's the situation today, collective? Collective energy. What's the situation today? All right. Uh, wow, we have several majors. Wow, guys, look at the situation. <laughs> Whew, so there are, there's a lot going on. <laughs> it looks like, I do ask for three cards or less generally to help with um, not only time in the interest of time, but also clarity. Um, but there's a lot going on here, communication. Wheels are turning, opportunities. Feeling like a clock is running out and there's a situation with nostalgia here as well, sentimentality, it's taking over. There could be uh, Pisces, Some there's an air sign energy here. Mars uh, is indicated as well. Of course, that rules Aries. Or as a planet, it's war and aggression. Uh, it's masculine. We have Jupiter featured here and also Scorpio. So we have the Page of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Six of Cups, the Moon, the Tower, Seven of Pentacles, and the Death card. Okay, so the situation has a lot going on. Whenever I see Pentacles, I see body, health, investments, time, money, job. So this could have to do with work. Um, it could have to do with how you feel about what you do for work, what's going to lead you in a direction, getting more information on the direction that you want to go in before perhaps you make any big moves. I do see something being a little bit private or behind the scenes right now here as well. Uh, with the moon in the center of all <laughs> of this, this story, this very... Something is very definitely unfolding and it's only a matter of time with the um, Wheel of Fortune here opposite the Seven of Pentacles. This is also a sense of sort of trying to hurry something. The Seven of Pentacles is the more impatient cards energetically as far as I, as far as I um, read them. There's expectant energy in a lot of the other cards that are similar to this energetically, but this one has this sort of wanting to rush something, not just expecting it. But there are expectations here as well. It's just wanting that rollover here, as it were, um, say in the Wheel of Fortune card, which is just like that coming back around. Second chance opportunity is often indicated there, particularly because death is in this process here and this is transformation so a total transformation something having to do with your past 
Whenever I see the Six of uh, Cups, I do read Twin Flame Soulmate Energy as well. If that's your story, if you are a lover romance uh, watcher right now. But certainly this spying, new information or data or communication is going to be transformed here. <coughs> Excuse me, or transformative. So very interesting because we have a lot of water energy mixed in here with this fire energy. The water being the Pisces um, and the Scorpio here. We have cups as well. This is our emotions. And then we have this fire, both Aries and Sagittarius showing up. You know, your will to action, your sense of philosophy, and your sense of self. Who you are in the world and what you do. <coughs> This could also have to do with um, something around a soulmate situation um, showing itself to you, something becoming very, you becoming suddenly very aware of something here with regard to that. Or again, something from your childhood, it could have to do with childhood friend here, so just someone from your past, um, uh, you know, past life even. So very interesting. Let's look at, let's look at your thoughts. You were the other person's thoughts about this very dramatic situation. <laughs> it looks like thoughts. You were the other person's thoughts. And I always say, if you don't enjoy the shuffling, just scroll ahead to when you see the cards there. So what have we got? Yep, more majors. So lots happening. This is um, a pretty influential time period, it seems like right now. A lot, um, a lot of changes. Like I say, something becoming aware here, even if it's within yourself or something that needs to be changed uh, around something that is, yeah, necessarily private here or that even causes some fear and doubt and trepidation here in your thoughts you have the world card the king of wands and the eight of pentacles so yeah so here we have seven now we have the eight of pentacles so very probably slash possibly having to do with your work world or you know income what you do for work what you do for your efforts this is production energy right what are you growing and amassing and perfecting here it's craftsmanship so with the world opposite of that brand new opportunities a big rollover whenever I see the world and the wheel of fortune in the same reading this is very um, it, it's not only positive it's especially with the six of cups showing up here you know and, and just getting a little bit more information and transformations and so forth. There's a sense of this rollover into this period where you may be coming aware of or in the middle of an opportunity here possibly to say commit to something that does feel like it's fulfilling something that brings you back, right? That makes you feel comfortable and like you're at home there's um the six of cups is actually a really beautiful energy i want to show you this artwork <clears throat> it's one of the more it's just a sweet energy there's like these two little kids so it's like there's an innocence here is um another important factor is what i wanted to say there as well so when it doesn't just bring you back to the good old days it brings you back to like where you felt safe and understood and these types of things. So in saying all that, the thoughts about this situation here. So now we have Saturnic energy. We have that the boss energy sort of next to this Leo boss as well. And this just says to me that, and especially because he's looking right at 
this world card, tectonic change is afoot. And this mature energy, this is drive. This is the mastery of drive, the mastery of business decisions. And um, it's very effervescent energy. It's, it's Leo, it's fifth house, creativity, sex, and leisure. Um, this person is, or energy is very, if it's not an older uh, fire sign male, it could just be this energy where it's very, yeah, effervescent and joyful. There's a lot of joy here because it's ruled by the sun. So really significant changes, very probably in the work world, but something that you're crafting, if nothing else here. Time and restrictions here with this seven, I'm just looking at Saturn energy here considered in the world, but it's also completions. Remember, it's the ultimate completion. So here and you're thinking about it, I mean, you, this is um, very firm, permanent, probably decisions because these could affect your whole world, literally, whether it means world travel or whether it means, you know, what you do as an entrepreneur here, um, what you do for work, your spiritual life, like how much you've developed in your spiritual world here. But I almost love this tower next to this, like up here and all this energy. I don't know why it's giving me like exciting vibes. Like it's just very, it's shocking, but this is not bad shocking. And the transformation around finding something out. Um, all right, what are your feelings? You were the other person's feelings about the situation. All right. I saw that two of swords earlier, I think when I turned the deck over briefly, that's interesting. So there she is in our feelings about the situation. Honestly, collective, not shocked. <laughs> Look at all of the power that's going on with all of these majors showing up in not only the situation here, which will be the, and you know, the situation today is the page of swords, the wheel of fortune, six of cups, the moon, the tower, the seven of pentacles, and the death card. So we have a few majors up here, just intense energy, um, lots of opportunities, you know, uh, significant shifts and changes, and then another major showing up in your thoughts about it. So a lot of this intense energy, um, really knowing what's going on, like I don't feel like you or the other person here or you in this situation is at all clueless about what's going on. This is the result of fascinating new information possibly um, or being made aware of something here that's quite deep. Hearing your feelings about it, this is where you're going to have the trepidation. You're going to have the blockades, the sense of what is going to work, feeling undecided with that two of swords here opposite of the nine of wands. Who is looking right at her? And it does. It feels laborious at this point. It feels like, <clears throat> like, what do I need to do here? How am I supposed to feel even about this? It's interesting. I don't really read feelings necessarily uh, with these two cards. They're not like sort of emotional energy, but they are in the feelings portion of the reading about the situation that does involve deep feelings and transformations and bringing things to light. So <laughs> this could also be wanting someone else to make a decision for you just with moon in the center. It's more passive energy. Um, but yeah, this is wounded soldier energy. Someone, again, right under this king of wands, also ha with this more fire energy, you know, just feeling in a way maybe here that you can't keep up or you can't follow through, but you can. Because you do want something to quicken up here, the seven, then the eight. You know it's just a matter of time. But with these two here, yeah, just feeling just 
perhaps that you know a decision does need to be made and you're exhausting all your options here before you do that. So let's see the most probable outcome collective. Again, the two of swords matching energy with the swords in the with the page for the situation. Just about that communication. Most probable outcome for this situation collective. <laughs> wow major endings yes yeah, so, wow but I mean this is I think this is going to be really positive I felt another two around the corner and now we have am I mistaken no I am not see this is why this is essential for um this process this is why in your heart space yeah I knew it made sense let me dive into why I'm saying that before I begin to do that, I want to let you know that we have every 10 in the deck. We have the 10 of wands, cups, swords, and pentacles. I don't, I don't remember the last time I saw that. Um, four tens. Perhaps I never did. Four tens. All right. So let's see. According to this little telltale book, responsibility and anxiety. Well then. <laughs> Can you feel it? <laughs> so much going on. <laughs> so much going on. I mean, indeed, sometimes it's nice that this is 24 hour energy, right guys? 24, you know, 30 hour energy. It's here and gone, but it's making a big wave. There's a big impact. This is our feelings, emotions, emotional world. Ooh, what we don't, perhaps what we've been trying to keep hidden. There's a little bit of like, there's a messiness within, and this could be part of it too, like how do we express? Well, the most probable outcome for this situation is a total ending. I do find it interesting to see the Ten of Swords in the same reading, not just for external energies, etc., as the Death card. I do feel strongly here that some, there could be an element of um, something never coming round again when I see this. And certainly with all the tens and there's this feeling here, this could be a little bit more of a gnawing situation, like something's, something's gnawing away at you here in your heart space, if I already hadn't said that, about the situation. Because with this intense like dead, done, over, this is a collapse. So we have a lot of collapsing and over with cards here. Tower, death, ten of swords. You know, um, if there is a Leo in your life or a father figure here or something like that, we don't have the emperor necessarily, but just someone who is maybe in your work life. If that's all that this is about, this could just be leaving that position. Again, it's interesting for me to examine how where the swords are falling, right? In the situation, this is spy energy, but essentially it's just vigilance. It's keeping an eye out. It's making sure that something is going to go a certain way. There are definitely plans here, but something's been upset. Like I say, there's new information or it's been transformed somehow. <clears throat> plans might have just been thwarted, right? It could have been that 
plans here. They could have involved luck. It could have involved travel. Um, could be thwarted. Now, it doesn't mean that it's over. I don't see something being over. Just perhaps a little bit more work or more laborious than you had anticipated. But because of more swords energy here with another knight, we have two knights here. Um, that is friends from the past. Right, so, and we have two pages. Let me double check that before I keep going, guys. Two pages, fun and enjoyment, and then two nights, friends from the past. Okay, interesting. So, it could just be, maybe surprise plans were thwarted here, or like travel plans, something like that. Or something hadn't been communicated perhaps strongly enough or effectively here. I see the ending is to the confusion. And I see, and honestly, this is a good thing to have this Ten of Swords here because like I said, this is sort of like, ah, there's a lot going on <laughs> here in that situation. Uh, it's like a big peacock feather there. So in a way it's good because it's the end of this confusion and collapse and upset and new information and so forth. Um, yeah, the Ten of Swords, it, uh, it's harsh though. So it could be two ideas or um, concepts. This puts you through something. The Ten of Swords definitely puts you through something. And when we saw the meaning to the four tens, I mean, sheesh. So yes, congratulations for getting through whatever you're about to get through here, Collective. I'm here with you. And, uh, you know, we're going to keep it moving. But, yeah, if you feel like something's been off or that you're definitely something's coming up or is wonky, it's over soon. Something is over. So the confusion, the upset seems to be moving in the right direction. This is the beautiful thing about something. They say a window or a door closes, another opens. That's what's happening here. So the decision you make here, whatever's going on in your heart space, whatever decision you do make, where something is just over and done with, could be, be as I say, between the jobs, right? Your income, long-term stability, 10 of cups, page of wands, and the Ace of Pentacles here showing up in external energy. You could very well be um, choosing or um, being granted a new job, car, home, opportunity, income, but something that makes you so friggin' joyful here because of this Ten of Cups and this really nice Page of Wands energy, this good news energy. Boy, do we need to see this. <laughs> So more fire energy, you could be dealing with a younger fire sign um, person, or fire sign person rather, or uh, there could be a child here with either of the pages, air or fire sign. But wow, wasn't that beautiful to see this gorgeous energy across from each other, making you totally happy. Loyalty, good news. I would even say, you know, a sense of um, fun and adventure and flirtiness if there's an offer here and this is a love reading for you we have even more wands energy showing up in this knight of wands we have the king so a lot of passion is showing up here he is opposite of the ten of uh, pentacles with the two of pentacles in the center for internal or subconscious energy. So you have the long-term on your mind, for sure. Long-term happiness, investments. This is tree of life energy. Children, grandchildren. Um, yeah, property ownership, for sure. So business is going to play a very big part here. No matter what this is for you, whatever this is, is big business for you. <laughs> uh, even if it's a relationship, it's you know, it's a big deal. It means a lot. It's, it's, um, it has to fit. Something has to fit, um, all the, take off all these boxes, right? Because of the happiness and the long-term stability. So between two things, just make sure that you're not settling on something that I would say sounds too good to be true or something that is from the past here that is just on repeat, right? You want to put that to rest. 
raise those vibrations because this external energy, I think this could be a test, honestly, because this external energy is just saying like, are you going to put your foot down this time? Because <laughs> yeah, overall energy is the Knight of Swords with the Ten of Wands. So here is that more closure energy. All the tens are completions. We have this closure here uh, with the world in terms of turning over a new leaf. But this guy can be a little bit argumentative, just talkative. It's Gemini energy. So, um, but he does come in at a flash. This is sort of like a lot of communication here and gone and that adventure communication. Just, you know, I would rest, rely on your instincts at this time. If something is too flashy, yeah, don't get carried away with it. Um, especially if it's everything you've wanted to hear. Get something in writing, I would say, as well. Be on the same page about something because something is def has definitely changed here. And you want to get to the bottom of it or the end of it. Let me just see. Yeah, especially about what you've been manifesting, something could be a counterfeit here. So just be sure that you are uh, on the same page. But yes, you definitely, your mind is in the zone. Like keep trusting the direction that you're going physically here because it looks like there is, could be some interference or some, or a test here. And it's just, it's like fuzz, honestly. And it's just like fear and doubt somehow about a decision. But put it to rest because something will just make itself known within a short period of time. You have long term on the mind. I don't think there's any rash decision to be made. Like I say, the seven and the eight here means that you have a little bit more time. So that is all I'm getting. I'm going to leave it there for now, everybody. These are always interesting. I really hope you guys find these at least entertaining and for at least someone out there helpful. <laughs> Thank you as always for joining me and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.